Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the new Tanganga card to review today. So if you guys haven't checked out the right back variation of the card yet, uh, the introduction that we're going to do is pretty much going to be the same, except for strong foot as well as work rates, right? So uh, you guys can skip basically to the gameplay part if you really need to. But uh, yeah, guys, with Tanganga, we're taking a look at a card who is 5'11". Uh, medium high work rates, left footed, two star skills, three star weak foot. So guys, with him having a medium high work rate, uh, it adds a different variable to the card in regards to, you know, him being a little bit more defensive than attacking oriented because of the fact that he doesn't have the high attacking work rate like he does on the right back variation of the card. So in my opinion, when it comes to selecting both variations of the cards, it's really going to depend on what you want the most. Because if your plan is to use someone like Tenganga in the center back position, honestly, potentially even on seven chemistry for fun, right? Let's just say you were to do this and then you gave him a shadow chemistry style and he's still working with 93, 99 with some pretty de uh, decent uh, defensive capabilities. It is something that you can totally do when it comes to this card, right? But I think most people are probably going to be trying him out in that left back position, uh, just trying him out defensively, seeing what he's liked, animations and whatnot, uh, seeing if he's a good defender, right? So yeah, guys, 5'11", medium high, left footed, two star skills, three star weak foot. With his pace set up the way that it is, it's going to be perfect for either the anchor or the shadow chemistry style. From reviewing the right back variation of the card, um, I came to the conclusion that I personally like the shadow more because it plays against the meta of the game a little bit more because of the fact that this card has the average body type, right? So you're going to be working with 97 for acceleration with 99 for sprint speed, uh, shooting non-existent on the card. So it's not really a card that you want to have as, as an attacking oriented fullback in any way. Uh, with passing, passing is pretty decent on the card, but just curve is a little bit low. Dribbling, again, will be experimenting with, but we already know what it's kind of like from the right back variation of the card because that hasn't been changed. Um, it's going to be working with the average body type, 97 acceleration, 99 for sprint speed. So obviously should be good like it is on the right back card. Uh, with his defensive stats on the shadow chemistry style, I do feel like there are drastic changes to uh, the defense on a shadow more than it is on an anchor, right? On an anchor, you're going to give more physical boost, but you don't get the sliding challenge or the sliding tackle one, uh, the interceptions one, which I feel like is going to be very important uh, when it comes to defending generally in this game. And then last but not least for physical capabilities, the card has 87 aggression with 88 for strength, 84 for stamina, and then 97 for jumping. So Again, looks like a very solid card. The difference between this card and the other one is going to be in strong, uh, strong foot and weak and uh, work rate. Excuse me. Uh, so yeah, there's not going to be a right or wrong answer. It's just going to depend what you want the most. Now, for this review, guys, we're going to be trying him out in the center back position, just like we did for the other variation of the card. Uh, this time, we're just going to go put him over here in that left center back area to see what the medium high worker is like. You don't often notice a huge difference between a high high and a medium high. Like when I use Kunde, like obviously medium high is significantly better because you just make them more defensive oriented, which is the main reason why you have a center back in your team. But it's not necessarily like a huge nuisance to have a high high uh, depending on the situation, right? So yeah, we'll try him out in that defensive area. Hopefully he is a beast. The main thing we're gonna be trying out is the weak foot. I mean, uh, not the weak foot, the strong foot on the left side now and the work rates. Nice team, nice team. Very good, very good. Ooh, almost gets that. Very, very quack on the uh, quack, quack. I keeps doing that when it when it comes to me saying quick. Very quick on the transition to come back. That one was completely my fault. Um, I did a pass instead of a clearance. You 100% should be doing a clearance over a pass. Ooh, I tried to hit it on a green, but uh, could not do it. Could not do it. Let's see if I can switch him here. A little lob of a cross. That's what I want here. And then we get him on the transition and then bang. Almost, almost. He does have the jumping, guys, so that's why I like to test him out in the corners. Yep. So just like the right back variation of the card, animation is very similar in regards to how he goes into the challenges. 
Very good stuff there. So that one, there was no actual animation to, you know, stick out a foot or anything like that. I was just holding out trigger as well. But, you know, even the best defenders in the world don't usually... Not usually, but they sometimes don't do anything in those situations either. Let's get that, though. It's a bounce pass, man. Bounce passes are very, very inconsistent when it comes to uh, defending... Yep, that was just holding out trigger, so not holding our trigger in that situation. Very tr quick transition speeds. Oh, lucky there. No situations, you're just holding out trigger. Sometimes when they keep running into you, they just like tip the ball away from you, you know? Yeah, his uh his running is the exact same. Like obviously when someone makes a pass like that, uh you're pretty much out of position. Like they should be able to go through on goal there. Goes for an animation at least. The running is really solid with him, man. What's funny about both of these cards is that, yes, you can in-game switch them to center back if you really want to, but they just really feel like physical-oriented fullbacks for the most part. Yep, just all triggered too. I didn't actually have to tackle that. Good interception. Well done. Oh, almost got a double challenge there. I actually pressed the tackle button for that uh, one interception. He's already back in position. Quick little dribbles, little pass upwards. Nice. Yeah, they feel like uh, defensive-oriented fullbacks that can be used at center back because honestly, guys, these types of dudes are super ideal for the meta of the game nowadays. There we go. See, I even slowed down. That's a penalty. No, it's not. Wow. I even slowed down there to kind of test out the acceleration part a little bit more. Obviously, when you defend, you should probably keep it going because them cutting on the inside is not really going to do much for them because in this game, going for like a finesse shot or something is not really super ideal. Nice. He actually did a double challenge there, right? He did the initial one to try to get the interception and then he did a second one to just tip it away from him. Good, magnetizes the ball there. I lose the ball like an idiot, but I'm good. <laughs> he's so far away from the ball, but he's at least he still goes for an animation. I could appreciate that at least. Ooh, that one he let go a little bit. Just a little bit. Just saw trigger as well. Beauty. Appreciate the animation there. Okay, guys. So final verdict on the new left back Tanganga card. So in regards to how he performs in game, guys, uh, we gave him the shadow chemistry style because for me personally, I think it makes the most sense for the meta of the game. Uh, with both variations of the card, guys, I see them mainly being used as actual fullbacks rather than center backs. But you could totally use them at center back if you really want to, because obviously they play against the meta of the game really nicely because of the fact that their pace is going to be in the high 90s area with some pretty decent uh, defensive capabilities. I will say, though, that they mainly feel like fullbacks and they do center backs. And that's obviously the case with FIFA nowadays, right? Where, you know, Trent Alexander Arnold, for instance, can definitely play center back and play it well, but definitely feels more of a fullback. Same thing with these ten, uh, with these two Tanganga cards. So guys, in regards to the SBC, uh, which one is worth it? It genuinely doesn't matter. For me, I would just choose whichever card is going to give you certain links in your team, right? So if you're going with like a Raheem Sterling left wing card and you need that left wing uh, left wing link, you start up with a 4-5-1, bang, you get that little link up with Tanganga, right? In regards to in-game quality, like I said, um, in regards to defensive qualities and whatnot, this card isn't as good as someone like Trent Alexander-Arnold in this game, just this variation as well. 
um, this one right here. This variation right here on a shadow chemistry style, playing in the fullback position, even the center back area, I feel like plays better, mainly because of the fact that he has the four star weak foot and the unique body type to work with, right? Unique body type is absolutely fantastic to work with nowadays. So uh, if you guys are going to make that comparison between fullback and fullback, I think Trent is better. I didn't, excuse me, I didn't end up trying out the Tomiyasu card, so I don't know what this card is like either. But from what I see, the only thing that's low on this card is composure because dribbling is actually set up nicely so that if you give him a shadow chemistry style, he actually looks like he could be a monster as well. And he's also a medium high work rated player. So he could potentially be a better option too if you need those links. The biggest thing right now uh, with the Tanganga card is going to be links in regards to whether or not you actually want to get the SBC. But in regards to in-game quality, I do think that a card like Trent is better uh, because... <clears throat> excuse me this card is a left back i think the left back one is less pointless to get or is, is more pointless to get because regulon exists you know for that spurs link if you really really want it but um yeah it just depends what you want to do with your team i still think that the card is pretty decent they have improved him to a point to be as meta as possible for the gameplay i don't think he's amazing like someone like trent but still a very solid card for what it is if you need the links in your team. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.